Migration to the United States had been slow between the end of the American Revolution and the War of 1812, mostly due to ongoing tensions with Britain and then to the Napoleonic conflicts in Europe. But beginning in the 1830s and 1840s, immigration from Europe exploded and the United States became a safety valve for the underemployed, the politically marginalized, and the persecuted peoples of Europe. The Irish in the 1840s were followed by the Germans after 1848, and the Germans remain the largest single immigrant group. Scandinavians began arriving after the Civil War, and then by the 1890s, most of the new immigrants were coming from Southern Europe, especially Italians, and from Eastern Europe including large numbers of persecuted Jews from the Russian Empire. By the end of the 19th century, the majority of Americans were of German ethnicity. Even today, 46 million Americans are of German descent. The light blue counties on the map are counties where more people say that they are German American than any other ethnic group. The rest of the top five ethnicities are in the next place, black or African-American at 38 million. That's magenta on the map. So majorities of many Southern counties. And then Mexican-American, 34 million, occupying the pink counties, uh, mostly along the Mexican border and in Southern California. Irish, 33 million. In the dark purple, where they only are the majority of the residents of a few counties in New England. And then rounding out the top five, the English with 24 million people and the light purple color that dominates in northern New England and in Utah. This population count is complicated by the region in the southwest that's colored tan, stretching from the Appalachian Mountains to North Texas, where the largest group in all of these counties calls itself simply American and the people don't attribute their origin to any foreign nation. These 22 million or so people are probably mostly of English or Scotch-Irish descent based on the history of the region, but they don't want to use any hyphenation in describing themselves. Statewide, the counties with more Germans, which is actually in many cases a plurality rather than a majority, range from 11% in Florida to 43% in North Dakota which helps explain why the capital of North Dakota is named after the Prussian Chancellor, Otto von Bismarck. So, before I continue, a couple more questions for discussion. First, why was the U.S. considered a safety valve for excess European population? And secondly, could a large population of so-called hyphenated Americans with some connection still to their original country of origin pose a problem for the United States? <laughs> 